All right, I'm here with uh, Robert and Melanie Charpentier, Luke Charpentier's parents, redshirt freshman offensive lineman for Arkansas. All right, guys, it's, uh, talk about this season. It had to be a thrill to be able to follow your son, yeah, you know, as a Razorback and, and, and see, you know, what the Razorback Nation's all about. It was. It was a, it was a thrill. Uh, Arkansas was so uh, fun to watch this year. They, they had a lot of uh, excitement, uh, a lot of points on the board. Uh, we were able to make a few of the games. We couldn't make every one, but we did a lot of the, the Fayetteville games. And uh, it, we had a lot of fun doing them. 620 miles was like going to Walmart <laughs> for us. <laughs> Melanie? Uh, we, I really enjoy. I really enjoyed the season. Um, like I said, we just got to see a few of the games and everything, but it was very, very, very interesting. Um, I didn't realize how big the Razorbacks uh, were in Arkansas. Uh, here in Louisiana, you know, we have the Saints and we have several different other uh, teams, whereas in Arkansas, the Razorbacks seem to be, you know, everything there. So. Just talk about just being able to get in your car. You guys are from the New Orleans area. Just drive a few miles to the Sugar Bowl and, uh, and just being able to experience this week. Leading up to this to the to the Sugar Bowl was the LSU game, and being in Tiger Town, I mean it was big, and uh, to have Luke on this team 20 minutes away from the dome, it was like it was almost a dream come true. Uh, never ever thought it would happen, but after the you know they beat LSU, here we are. We can brag over here on this time. We had a lot of friends that um, are big LSU fans, you know, so they um, they kind of gave us a rough time, a hard time and stuff on it. But um, we really enjoyed being so close to here, you know, how sweet it is, how sweet is that, you know, it's been our slogan the whole time. Uh, how, what was it like after the LSU game? You, you had a few bragging rights, did you not? Well, it was really to be for the game was real big. Uh, you know, they, they were pushing, they were worried about the championship. Uh, they were all, I, overlooking the Hawks. I always told them you have to beat the Hawks before, you got to beat the three A's before, to get on the SEC West side. And uh, it was big. After the game, well, it, I brought a bunch of Razorback gum to chew on that. And uh, I, get, I left them with a bunch of things, but uh, it was all in fun. We had a lot of good, good time. And believe it or not, we actually tailgated with some really good friends of ours. Uh, Dean Blanchard from Grand Isle is a diehard LSU fan. But uh, he let us know before. He let us know before the game that he was very confident that he thought as big as a Tiger fan he was that Arkansas was going to pull it through. So uh, when we walked on over there, he was like, I told you I was right. I told you, you know. So, But um, it was a great experience, a great, great experience to have uh, won that game. Let's go back to the recruiting process. When Luke, about this time last year, Luke was being recruited by a lot of schools, and obviously Arkansas, one of them. Just kind of talk about the recruiting process and your thoughts on uh, Coach Willie Robinson and the job that he did with uh, Luke. Coach Willie did a great job with Luke. He stayed in touch. Every opportunity that was available when they could, he stayed in touch. Uh, we were able to break away from school uh, to see the South Carolina game. Uh, and we left after a high school game, which was at like 11 o'clock at night. They push up the uh, South Carolina game to an 11:40 game, so we were really on a on a high speed bus to get up there. Uh, One ticket along the way. Yeah, a ticket along the way, and uh, you know, not have not have ever been to Fayetteville. It was it was a little. Uh, we did it, it was good, but Coach Robinson, you know, stayed with Luke. Uh, at the end, uh, there was a lot, you know, guys coming in at the house, you know, trying to... There was a time when uh, teams like SMU wanted him real, real tough and uh, kept coming at, around their opportunities, but uh, Luke, wanted, Luke was an SEC guy. He wanted to be playing that SEC, and uh, we were real glad that he chose Arkansas. Very proud. I can still remember Luke's uh, when he got his letter in the mail as far as his uh, his what would it have been called his uh, his offer his, his offer. offer his offer from Arkansas. He was at the computer and you know being recruiting uh, at John Curtis they don't allow you to get any of your mail 
JT holds all of his stuff because he wants him to stay focused on his senior year. But there was a few schools, Arkansas, um, I think Alabama, LSU, Stanford, uh, just to name a few that we did get mail in. And when he opened it up, he's like, Mom, Mom, I got my first offer, you know. But Arkansas followed him from day one, from the very first uh, game, I think it was, when we played over in Dallas Stadium is when uh, I think Coach Robinson had kind of contacted him or, or something. But um, They thought he would uh, fit the system, uh, be the kind of offensive lineman that they were looking for. And then, again, that's what he wanted to do. He wanted to play in the SEC. And... Uh, Arkansas was the place for him. But when he got there, um, my dad had passed away the weekend before, and we went up to Fayetteville, and right when he got there, he said, Mom, this is home. This is home for the next five years. So we're very happy with this decision. We, we are in, thoroughly enjoying being a Hall of Famer. Talk about playing, Luke playing at John Curtis High School, uh, obviously one of the premier football programs in Louisiana and the nation. Uh, talk about how that prepared him for college. Being a John Curtis Christian, as JT would say, that's how they like to be called. Very, very um, upbeat. Uh, you know, they have a very good weight program. They uh, very physical, very, uh, got to be very committed. Uh, Mondays through Saturdays, after their game all day on Saturday, it's very hard for them to break away to go and, you know, seniors to go and see it. Uh, as close as LSU was to us, it was very difficult. So you, they're very committed and it's very um, challenging. They challenge you every day. Uh, but, you know, uh, he, he had a great career. They, he, he lost the first game that he stepped field for Curtis and the last game. Everything in the middle was a win. So he did well. He had a good high school career. Well, coming from the high school that we came from, which you know was a great school, my dad taught there for many, 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 many years. And um, you know, but once my dad got saw the program, like uh, two or three practices, you know, at first, you know, it was really wishy-washy and not sure how we made the right decision. But after two or three practices, my dad was like, "This for sure, you know, this for sure is is the best decision you all made." And you know, our dad was an O-line coach for. 20 something years. So. And, and you know, hindsight is 2020, but when we look back, you know, thinking, our, you know, our other son would have fit in great into the Curtis situation, but, you know, the Lord leads you in different ways and different directions, and, you know, we thank God that He led us here, you know, for Luke, and we have Jake now there, so, so it's a, it's a great program, an awesome program. We kind of compared it, I mean, you know, Arkansas, I mean, it, it's very great program they have there. But he said, you know, he thinks Curtis prepared him for the next level as far as their practices, because their practices are very fast, very upbeat, you know. Um, but he said, he, you know, he did well once he fit, you know, fitted right on in there. Go back to the official visit uh, when Luke made his official visit. You guys uh, were along with him. Kind of talk about what, what impressed you about uh, the University of Arkansas. On the official visit, well, uh, again, we had the homely feeling. We came in, met with a bunch of guys at the hotel and uh, the school. We, we visited the school. Uh, Luke, it was not, you know, it was when you home, when it's homey, uh, that's what he kept saying. Uh, Luke never really don't meet a stranger. I mean, he meets people and he just like fits right on in there. I mean, he, so for Luke going 10 hours away, that was never a fear of mine. You know, I knew Luke would make the best of everything. But there was just something about, uh, and also Miss Susan, I mean, I have to give credit to uh, Coach Robinson's wife. I mean, she kind of took Luke in there. The first time we were there on our official visit, she brought us Christmas cookies and just, you know, made us feel like, you know, our boy is going to be very well taken care of. And uh, for what we've seen so far, I mean, we're good. he made a good choice. He made Again, the best choice. We, we, we really didn't meet uh, a lot with him other than the few games. Uh, being so far away, uh, I, I don't know if 620 miles is far enough, but it, <laughs> we can't just uh, go at will. But uh, it, it, we had a, a, a good visits, and uh, he, he's he's been at home. I mean, never complained once. No, actually, when he came home for uh, in August, when he came home, it was he was home for maybe 
four or five days, and it was almost like he was ready to go back. You know, he was ready. He was ready to go back to be with all his friends. And I mean, going off to college, you know, you you learn a lot of independence. You know, and uh, I think it's you know it's been a great choice. Arkansas has been a great choice. All right, guys. Tomorrow night, what's uh, what's the score? Well, looking uh, at the, our SEC West teams uh, and looking what they did to the Big Ten, <laughs> uh, I'm definitely picking the Hogs. Uh, I, we don't want to get into a shootout, but I see a, a we like to score thirty something. We always, you know, I'm, I'm going to go thirty, at least thirty four. 34-24. That's where I'm going. I say Hogs on top what? either way. No matter what, I'm not really worried about the scores. As long as the final score ends up, that Hogs are on the top, I'm fine. We uh, 